right? I love to see my clients success. Yes, we, we yeah. love to. And here's what I would also say, at least my experience is it actually takes a kind of client that is willing to go all in. Mm -hmm. It makes our job of supporting and coaching and guiding them easier because oftentimes, and I don't know if you've seen this, many people come in expecting that you will do the job. Exactly. Yes. I think we talked about this. Did we, didn't we talk about personal yes. responsibility? Please. Yes. Please. <laughs> please. Yes. yes. We have to let people know this is your journey. This is your venture. This is your progress. This is your success. We get to cheer you on. Mm -hmm. We get to support you. We get to empower you. We get to connect you to the resources and support you need. And we get to celebrate your win. So we are on your side. Yes. But we want to make sure you're in it for real. And we know it's not easy, but we believe so much in you. So I think for me, I try to set that stage because at the very beginning of my journey, I felt like I was offering too much of myself. Mm. I guess I, I, because I was so passionate, you know, passion makes us do. Yeah. <laughs> so then did you get burnt out? I got wise. <laughs> 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 I got, I got wiser to say, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Mm, I'm happy to help, but not do the, do this work of going up the pyramid of success, whether it's wealth, influence, power, all I'm offering is helping you speed it up, accelerate it, fast track it. That's what this is about. Like I had to come to that realization that I cannot beg anybody. I right. cannot drag anybody. I cannot force everybody. Or Like I had to remove all of those, you know, when we're passionate, right? We tend to come with our energy. Yes. But what I now do is applying that energy in the right spaces of creating resources, creating content, making it available to people who want it, right? Mm -hmm. Making it available to people who um, are ready to take responsibility for their own life. It's, it's about teaching them to fish, not fishing, uh, not fishing for them. Right. Do you say this in your first session with them? Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that is actually why I developed the mindset program. Okay. So I try to, do, so I designed a roadmap. And the first stop on that roadmap is addressing a lot of mindset, success, my, what I call success mindset, 12 strategies for winning. The first one is activating clarity. Do we see, are we seeing clearly ourselves, our desires, our hopes, our dreams? the journey we are going on, what do we need for that journey, right? Mm -hmm. Another, number two is adopting the mindset of a champion, like oh, yeah. believing in ourselves, confidence building. Do you believe in yourself that any obstacle that comes in the way, you can find, you can blast past it, right? Can you see the trophy, right? The only reason you get knocked down as a, <laughs> and you keep coming back, you know, you talked about coming back, fail fast. Yes. Right. It does take a certain type of belief, believing in ourselves to come back again. It does. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. that program is my attempt to prepare people for success in life. Success. I say success is being able to go after anything you want to go after. Mm -hmm. Right. You want to get a PhD, go for it. Dedicate yourself to it. Commit yourself to it. Resources, time, energy, and you will get it. It's the same thing I say it's in business. Just because you want it doesn't mean the journey will be easy. I think that's also helping people close that gap. Yes. And just because it's not easy doesn't mean it's unattainable. Right? So how do we demystify that journey? And for me now, 
what I now call, what I now say we need is capacity development, is that moving ourselves from where we are to our desired position requires us to develop skill. It could be network. Network is part of capacity building. Mm -hmm. It could be knowledge, exposure in the right room, showing up to the right spaces, building the right relationships. And you know, the, you would the, you know, you're the experts in relationship, right? You know the power of a network. Yes. You know the power of a connection. It's a principle that successful people practice. Mm -hmm. The reason we're doing this today is you and I connecting beyond just, right? A class. Right. right. We need, it's a, it's a, it's a skill we need also in business because the next client is a relationship away. The next customer is a smile away. It's an hello away. It's like you talked about talking to strangers is that that stranger could be converted to a customer, right? So yeah. that's what I had to do. Starting this January, I had to create this entire program of the real skill for success. And it could, be, it. it could be applied into relationship, even personal relationship, <laughs> professional relationship, yeah. any type of meaningful, meaningful relationship that supports our own progress, right? And then mm -hmm. how we can also serve people, provide value. So that's what I had to do uh, because I kept seeing um, a replay over and over again of certain mindsets that was actually that I consider to be standing in the way of the progress people need. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that's good. We we've also adopted for our next program, we're gonna have a like a motivational speaker come and talk to people before they take our plan for profit, which is a nine week class. That's fun. I support that. Yeah. I also love you talked about SWOT. So when yeah. I do one-on-one, -on -one, that's actually one of my first sessions. Oh yeah. Okay. The, uh -huh. the reason is, yeah, the reason is because I really believe we can win in the market with our strengths, like the David and Goliath, right? Is that there are some mm -hmm. unique strengths that we are gifted with and we can differentiate. We can, we can bring that into our businesses to differentiate how we deliver the service, right? So if mm -hmm. you're in a competitive market, and everybody's offering the same services. We need differentiation, right? right. Through, through our brand statement. And, and oftentimes I've seen is if we can identify a unique passion, a unique trait, a unique strength, that can be used as what I call the arrowhead strategy. Mm, you can mm -hmm. lead with that. And everything comes behind. So for yeah. example, that's what I practice. So I tap into communications a lot right so mm -hmm. at my core no matter what it is i'm doing or serving right what i lead with is communication relationship building because that's, that's, that's yes it, it, yeah. i did yeah like i didn't have to go to school <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yeah. I, when my dad passed a few years ago it was one of those um life transformation stuff that i went through that even mm -hmm supports why I do what I do now is that I started remembering who I was as, as a young child and at 8, 10, 15, 16, the things I used to do, I was like, I did not go to school for that. And I did it so well. I was the, yeah. peer, I was the public relations officer in my undergrad. I was the, what we call the head girl in the British system in, in Nigeria. So I I'd played a lot of leadership roles, even right? That required me to speak publicly, right? Every week, every week. And I think I, I probably should have just been a, a marketer. I should have just gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have been something because that's all I do today. That's all I do. <laughs> I well, live. you're good at You're good at it and you like it. So that's the important thing. Yeah. It, we should take all our degrees away, all our professional experience away. And then you know, what shines forth, what shines true for you? That's what you need to use. Yes. Now it's the arrow edge strategy, but if that is all I do, I have to support it with results. Yes. Yes. Right. So many times people lead with results and that's okay. If, if, if your unique strength is, oh, I'm exceptional. I'm this, right. Nothing wrong with that. But for me, I lead with my own unique strengths and then I back it up with absolute ex exceptionalism in delivery of results. 
So when I host events, when my customers come, when my clients work with me, they live with OMG towing. That was amazing. So I'm also committed to an experience that leaves people like, wow, blown away, right? So that's, that's, that's my own personal uh, gift to the world is anybody. And I was saying this to someone, or maybe it was my husband, like, here's my own, I won't call it mission statement, but this is my own positioning is that if I'm going to invite anybody to join me in working on anything for me to serve them to my event, I am committed to making sure, right. I over deliver, right. That, that not only do I say what I said I would do, I would actually go over and beyond, right. I will surprise them. And that's been the legacy. That's the legacy. So when global thinkers come to my event, when their team goes back, like president or like this major people, right. The feedback would be towing. We weren't expecting that. That was mm, yeah. right. Like you went, yeah. so it's, it's, um, that's my, that's the badge I want to wear. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's, it's what has helped me all through my journey, whether I incorporate, like even here as an entrepreneur is, I want people to know that if I invite them or if I say, come to my event or come to my class, or I have this program that they need to be able to trust the fact that I, I call it the efficacy, you know, in medical terms, if a doctor is prescribing a drug, the, the trust factor for me to prescribe something to you, I must believe that you're going to feel better. Yeah. Right. That, that it's that mindset is I will never offer someone in the marketplace anything I feel will not address the challenges they say that they're having. I will not, I would rather just not be doing this. Yes. Right. So yeah. because of that conviction, I can passionately, passionately, absolutely message to the world, guys, skill development, capacity building. So I speak with that conviction. Right. I speak with that passion that I have that this is the way. Yeah. Right. You want to achieve success? Turn right, turn left. Yeah. <laughs> right. I've exactly. done the work. I've gone on my own journey. I've yeah. seen what it takes. And all I'm offering is a way for you not to make the mistakes I made. Right. So yeah. I, I, that's the passion for me. It's like, I believe so much in it that I commit myself to delivering that message. Like guys, I will shout from the mountaintop. I will scream it out, which is the communication side of me. I will yeah. send that newsletter. I will bombard you. I will be at you. Why? Because I need you to help yourself not to fail, but to learn what you need to achieve everything you want to. And don't wait for anybody. Have you also seen that? What are people waiting for? Yeah, I don't know. I I have a client now who's asked me to do research for her and I'm happy to do it, but she can do it. So I do it. I probably am enabling, but uh, I give, <laughs> her, give her the resources because it's just secondary market research that she can do at the library. This is what I do. So I've developed resources. I have what I call the entrepreneur workbook. Okay, it's a yeah. series of 30 questions and it's an assignment. It gets them going on that research. In attempting to answer those questions, they will complete the research by themselves. Oh. It's a trick. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because, I mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> because again, I do this because my first degree is mathematics and I have... A also is mine. Yay! Mathematics. <laughs> right. And my second degree is information systems. So I used to oh, be so a programmer. My, 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 I had a uh, minor in computer science. <laughs> Sis, I think yeah. that's why we connect. Yes. So, so this is what I do. I reverse engineer to say, what are the desired transformative outcomes we want for people? For me, it's actually mastery. So I, 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 I shared this, that there's information. I can tell you, you can fish that's information. There is knowledge. Knowledge could be, I can teach you theory of fishing. 
I can also teach you the practice, right? You know, you can, you can give them a book, learn how to fish, or you can be there with them physically, which is what you do. You and I do this. We're there mm -hmm. physically and we're teaching, oh, this is how you string. This is the bait you use. That right. is powerful. But this is what I now use to hold my members accountable. The job is not done. If what we want is to develop skill, you now have to practice yes and repeat the be very able, first time be able to teach someone how to do it yes the very first time you even attempt it by yourself without the fish expert fisherman or fisherwoman by you you're going to struggle but when you do it two times three times ten times right yeah that is the part that helps you to become a master so what i then try to do is what are the programs I need to put in place that will take people from just information, from information to knowledge, to skill acquisition, to mastery. And that's what drives me using a lot of workbooks and programs, because when it comes to content marketing and sales, the message, the practice of marketing and sales is actually developing the skill of communication. It is. Yeah. Right. So even mm -hmm. if I tell you what to do today, if I help you do it today, this is something you have to do every day for yourself. Yeah. So what I try to do is how this is a skill we must develop for you. That way you don't depend on me because I can help you to do it today, but you need to do it tomorrow, next tomorrow for the rest of the year. And I don't want you coming. Right. So my programs are now designed to activity based right mm -hmm. i would ask a lot of questions so for example the cost we have a customer insights and framework that i'll ask specific questions like what are the desires of your customers it's oh. a simple question yeah. uh-huh but guess what they cannot answer it you have to do the research you have to talk to other people yes so it actually gets them doing exactly what you're saying they should do Yes, that is great. As long as they don't think they can write it in their per yes. in first person and say, oh, well, I believe my customers will. Well, but, but guess <laughs> what? After that, there's a series of other questions. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> give me the name give me the name of the people that you talk names of the people you talk to. <laughs> like, even if the first one you're like, mm, right? There's another one I call blind spots. What can you see that you believe the customers cannot see? Oh, yeah. Right. So, so for example, the work we do, the work you're doing, you're supporting your customers, you're supporting your clients, but there are some things in their blind spot that you can see as the knowledge experts, as the, right, the leader, but you, they cannot see it. How do we call those things out? So, so for me, all of this practice develops muscles because you can in fact one of them told me that she had to go talk to two other people before she could complete the assignment oh yeah right and then i tell them if you we need this assignment ready to go for next week so if you skip this assignment you're not ready for next week <laughs> yeah come back when you're ready yeah, yeah. So anyway this is what i've had to do because my goal is mastery because once you become a master in fishing, now you can build a business that is successful. Mm -hmm. and now you, you can fly your plane. Like it's like the pilot. Now you can go out there and become the best and compete. Right. But mm -hmm. that journey to becoming a master, it takes time. It takes investment. It takes commitment. It takes discipline. And that's what I try to prepare people for. And I see out there, most people are just telling them, you know, just go on Instagram, just jump on reels, just exactly. do all this stuff that yeah. just write a business plan. Mm -hmm.